Hey guys, this is Polar, and I am back doing another video series. And this one will be with UDK, and we're making a top-down shooter. And basically, we are following along this uh, DVD put up by E3D, and it's titled uh, UDK Kismet Volume Two, and we'll be using and learning a little bit about Kismet, uh, about how to make a top-down shooter. And uh, for those who uh, are not familiar with E3D, um, they make a lot of uh, training DVDs and uh, videos and such. And they're probably, other than maybe like my school, have taught me the most about using uh, Unreal Technology and uh, CryEngine 3, ZBrush, uh, 3ds Max, Maya, uh, you name it for production, uh, they really uh, know their stuff. So I've been a customer of theirs for about, oh, I don't know, about two, three years. But uh, uh, if you're really are serious about um, making video games, uh, like such as level design or making the uh, 3D assets, uh, I would highly suggest uh, checking them out. I know some of you might think, and I, I've definitely heard this before from uh, so-called uh, people that want to make games is that uh, there's so much tutorials on the internet already for free and that's true but uh, they usually just pick one simple topic and it, it doesn't really complete it it doesn't take you through a project from beginning to end it doesn't answer all your questions that will arise and pretty much every person who is involved making these videos are actual professionals in the game industry have a working experience and have taken their time out to help put these DVDs together to inform you and kind of I guess in a way separate the uh, not separate but it helps it helps answers a lot of questions if you were ever wondering or you ever stumped uh, if you ever wanted to do maybe a project from beginning to end just to see what it was like to uh, make something uh, I would highly suggest spending the money getting the DVDs and getting the education uh, like for example like one of the first things this video talks about is level streaming and um, basically if you don't know what level streaming is to say if uh, for example we're doing this top-down shooter it's uh, on our basically a rail and it's uh, from point A to point B um, you use level streaming for numerous things such as uh, say if you have more than one person person working on a level you know each of you can uh, work on your section and then paste them together also it's you know for performance uh, so for instance like like I said we're on this rail and once we pass this part of the rail uh, there's no really reason to continue to render the part behind you and if you can't see the part in front of you it's no sense uh, putting that up so to speak but you know they, these videos are very informative um, I don't want to ramble too much in this video on it. Uh, I really want to finish it up and showcase what I have done. I'm not going to. This isn't like a tutorial. Uh, this is me just going through the video. Um, and also, I'm really emphasizing if you want to learn or want to know what I'm doing to pick up the DVD, I'll put links and everything else in the description. And stick around and hope you guys come back. 